Naptown, the city that always sleeps. Most people think nothing happens in this town that is halfway between nothing and nowhere. But they would be wrong. There is plenty that goes on in this town for those willing to look. Having resolved some of their issues, the crew plotted on how to proceed with infiltrating the Spinning Gold Casino. Darling still had a private meeting with Felix Orban, and the crew did everything in their power to make sure that it was safe for her. But for all their preparation, Darling is still led away blindfolded from the audition. Will Tanner and Seamus notice in time to help? Or is Darling in deep water in the city that always sleeps? Where we last left off, Darling had infiltrated the warehouse that Felix Ortman was at, where she was going to give him a private show, and has wound up somewhere completely different. Seamus and Tanner are on the outside of this building that is decently guarded, and Faye is just in the office doing her thing. Chillin'. So, as you come to, darling, not come to, but as you regain your faculties and observe your surroundings, this does look like the living room that was in the painting. Okay. So what would you, are in this room, you have Felix Ortman and just you. Um, anything else you want to notice about the room or stuff you want to do? Yes. I want to know if there is, I want to know what paintings are on the wall. There's the standard fare of nice paintings, just like landscapes landscapes portraits of okay but you know what i'm asking about <laughs> as soon as i say like the painting you're looking for is on the wall you're gonna be like well describe the whole room look we just want you to paint us a painting picture of paintings the fucking painting you're looking for is there there's one of a warehouse <laughs> but the painting there is also a painting on the wall of the warehouse that you just came from okay does it look like there are other paintings on the wall that could lead to other places potentially make me an investigation check. Okay. I don't think I have anything for investigation. I doubt you do. That is a seven. Um, there, you're not sure, but there are portraits that look like they might lead to other places, but you're not positive. Like, there isn't one that stands out like, this is definitely another teleportation picture. Okay. When I come to, is my blindfold off or do did I take it off? Oh, uh, it's off. What was that face for? Well, I'm just like, am I coming to because was Darling really, really out of it? Or was this just like a weird dizzy spell? Like, I'm trying to, I guess, like, does it seem like it could feel like she's been drugged? Or like, what is what is the level here? It uh, feels more like you spaced out. Okay. And next, that like, you know that thing where you just like unfocus your eyes and are just gone for like 30 seconds. And then you're like, oh, what happened? It's basically that feeling. Except you're in a completely different space. Or, like, have you ever driven and you're, like, driving on autopilot and, you know, like, next thing you know, you're 15 minutes down the road? Yeah. It's it's one of those things where you, like, you were cognizant of what was happening, but not enough that you could remember any of it. Okay. And then this may be a weird question. Are there any doors to this room? Yes. You see multiple. Like, we <laughs> weirdly multiple or just, like... No. Just the normal amount. Like... Okay. Uh, there's more than one, less than five, less than four. Okay, no, no, no. That's I, just trying to read the room here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think Darling is feeling like a little, I don't think it's weirded out, but like a little wary at this point. Um, but she like sits up and smiles at Mr. Ortman. Oh my goodness. I am so sorry. I, d I, I don't know. I must have, I must have been spacing off. I did not realize how far fast we move to this new location. Uh, not to worry. That happens with most people when they are dazzled by my own private boat. But not to worry. You should be fit as a fiddle. Nothing terrible happened to you. You didn't hit your head or anything. Well, that's a relief because I certainly am. I certainly don't quite feel like myself. I'm guessing there's nothing in this room that looks like it could be minting coins not even kind of okay that's like i know that's like a weird uh, she's like like i can't think i'm not gonna go through like what she actually does you know here but um <laughs> is the bad guy's plot sitting right on the desk for me to grab <laughs> no 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 but you know what i mean like she's like i think she's trying to like look around while not being mm -hmm. super obvious yeah. about it she's looking for leads that we can further yeah. follow up on exactly so, Miss Lovell, 
You said that there. I have a private show to convince me that you deserve a spot on my VIP boat? I most certainly do, but, you know, it would be improper for me to just come right out and show off. I was led to believe that is the point of auditions, is to show off. I think she's kind of, like, pacing around the room and, like, just trying to be really cheeky about it. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think what on earth Darling could do next. I think she goes up to she's like she's like walking around the room and she like is kind of like looking at the paintings and i think she stops at the warehouse one and like looks back at him well this isn't something i would expect to see on a famous casino owner's wall well tell me what you see (laughs) Uh (laughs) (laughs) uh-oh i mean it looks like I mean, it kind of looks like where we came from, but that that would be just silly. I mean, it is a little odd that you can see through my illusions, but I think we have quite a bit to talk about, Miss Miss Lovell. Why don't you have a seat? (laughs) Oh, no. I saw that coming because it's like, oh, it's supposed to be mist covered, isn't it? (laughs) So, flipping back to Tanner and Seamus, it has been your 15 minutes that you are waiting for Darling to come out or whatever, and you have zero sign of her. Okay, let me ask this first. How many people are outside the building? Probably two groups of people. And a group is like five? Group group two or three. Okay. There's probably like a, like people at the front entrance, like a pair at the front entrance, and there's probably like a group of three walking around. And is this a freestanding building? Yes. Are there windows of, like, climb inable height? Yes. Alright, you wanna just try to sneak in, I guess, and if that fails, then I guess we start punching. Yeah, I suppose that's better better plan than any. Alright, Zach, can I make a sneak around check to try to sneak in while, like, you know, wait for them to walk around the side of the building and try to jump in the window? Yep, Seamus can too. Great. Um, I think the tags that I'm going to use are private detective. Calm authority. <laughs> you know, I wanted to say calm authority, but I'm like, I just don't even think I'm going to bother. You do try to use it on literally every check. Hey, look, sometimes I think it's more applicable than you give it credit for. But in this case, I, I cannot make an argument for it. Well, one of those was a six. Seamus, what tags are you using? Uh, I like to use... Um... Oh gosh, let's see. Let's use um, predict foe's move so we can kind of like, you said there's like a patrol moving around, so I'll try to time it to where we're moving when there's nobody coming. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then let's also do, I don't know if I have any, I don't know if I have anything else. Oh, how about the crew tag can get anywhere? That would work. Do I have any minuses for any reason? Nope. Okay. I got a 12. That's a 10. All right. I am Batman. (laughs) Easily enough, you guys are able to sneak into this building undetected. You are in, like, a drywall office room. There's nothing special, super special about it. There's, like, a desk. Rummaging through the desk, there's nothing in it. It's just, it looks like a furnished office, but not a used office. Okay, are there any paintings on the wall? Not in this one room. Okay, then I'm just gonna, I'm investigating, man. I'm just creeping room to room. Oh, make me an investigation check. Both of us or just him? Because I'd kind of be doing the same thing. Go for it, Seamus. I'm going to say private detective and uh, uh, truths that are hidden. Sure. Actually, I'm going to be more of a lookout. No, I say that. I'm going to be more of a lookout to make sure like people aren't coming our way. Okay. Don't need to roll anything for that. Let me see the rules real quick. Sne- sneak around isn't quite what I want it to be, but let's do sneak around, I guess. But focus more on being a lookout than like literal sneaking. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, military strategy and predict foes move? Yep. I'll have both of those. Six. I'm a terrible lookout. No one's coming. Uh, I, I rolled a nine for investigation. So it takes you some time. You are trying to go through this strategically. You know, like you're not just jumping around randomly. Yeah, right. But after a little bit of time, you are able to find a room that has a painting in it of what looks to be a living room area. Can I see anyone moving around in it? Uh, Yes, you do see Felix Ortman and Darling. Darling has her back to you. Is Felix Ortman, like, staring at me? Like, if we made eye contact through the painting? Funnily enough, he does notice you. Well. (laughs) Someone rolled a six on a check. Um, 
Gosh dang it. <laughs> well, uh, Seamus, I think one, we've been found, and two, um, I think we need to figure out how to get through this painting. Do you have any thoughts? Seamus, you don't think you've been found. You're being a great lookout. <laughs> I want to try to... I want to try to see if I can figure out how this painting works. I don't know if that's something I can even do. Let's see if there's some way to trigger it. That seems like a push the limits or whatever it's called. <sighs> okay. That seems like a stop holding back. So the question is, do you want to trigger it or are you just trying to figure out how it works? I think we tr- we need to get in there, right, Cody? I mean, yeah, I think we do need to get there. Yeah, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna try. I want to try to trigger it. Okay, I'm gonna say this is a no return type of stop holding back. Whew. All right, on a seven to nine, replace one theme. The whole theme. <laughs> <laughs> oh shoot! I, I'm let if if you don't want to do it, you don't have like just trying to figure out how it works would be significant. But you are trying to actively use a rift th- power that is not your own. That was that was a seven to nine, right? You said. Yeah, on a ten, you just mark fate or crack and burn all power tags on one theme. Dang. On a six, a six minus, you don't succeed and you still do the seven to nine result. Jeez, I could lose my dog tags. <laughs> well, you get to pick which one. It doesn't have to be your dog tag specifically. Uh, oh gosh. You don't have to do it if. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like we've been made, so he's probably gonna want to come talk to us anyways. Yeah. I want to try to. Can I? What? It, what would it be if I just wanted to see how it works? I would say that's a significant, the significant one, not no return. Okay. And what's? I mean, what are the levels on that one? Uh, seven to nine is mark a fade, fade slash crack and burn all power tags on one theme, and then a ten plus is just mark a fade or crack. Yeah. And succeed. Like obviously they have the successes tied to them. So is mark fade crack and burn all the tags is seven to nine. Yes. Uh, yeah, I guess let's go for it. Are you doing that one, or, or do you want to do no return? You you could trigger no, this. Not no return. Not no return. That's that's a bit steep for me. Not to that point in the game yet. All Too right. Much for your blood. Uh, f- so for this, you just get a straight plus two because you roll plus. Oh really? Logos. Oh, wow. So you get okay. You have two logos, so you just get a plus two. Plus logos, not mythos. Plus logos, not mythos, because you're. Okay. I mean, it's, it's the same, what's but... holding you back. Uh, it's you're trying to do something new with your powers, and your logos is where you can like you can push out your logos or something like that. I don't know. Okay, I read it a long time ago. Sure, let's let's go for it. All right, plus two is a nine. Uh, okay. Uh... So mark a fader crack and burn all the tower power tags on one theme. Oh, I get to choose which theme. Yep, you get to and choose any theme. Yes, any theme. This is tough. Burning it, you can get them back, though, remember. You just... I, I know, I know. But I'm just trying to figure out which which one of my themes can I go without until the next downtime. Which downtime needs to be more than just an evening, just for everyone's reference. Yeah. I went with uh, my heirloom weapon. Oof, hopefully you're not getting a shootout soon. I'm not, yeah, I mean, I'll just have to be punchy punch boy. All right, so, and then mark a fader crack on that. Yep. So you pour yourself into the, your dog tags in a way that you have not before. You you just learned how to bring out, like, figure out if something is magical. And this is taking it the next step and seeing, like, how the magic works in it. Um, you see an aura glowing around it, and it is obviously rift made, if that wasn't already obvious to you guys. But it seems, like, as you stare into this painting and see uh, Felix walking around, you see that the magic is tied to him. And it looks less that they are teleportation portals for anyone and more just teleportation portals for himself. And he can bring people along with him. So we really can't go there anyways. I mean, someone could have pushed their limits. (laughs) Right? Well, bad news. It seems like only he can activate these. Can we hear anything through the painting? No. Uh, oh boy. You do have a sorcerer who can shapeshift herself. Where is where is Faye right now? I'm at work. Oh. So we don't really have a shapeshifter. Huh. Well, I mean you can you can go get her. Just because Faye's at work doesn't mean you have to like not use her as a resource. That's true. Uh what do we see in the painting? What specifically are you looking for? Well, are they just like talking or is he like stabbing her? <laughs> He's not actively attacking her. Is he, like, reacting to the fact that two strangers have clearly broken into his, like, on-land office? Not even kind of. Uh... 
He made decided eye contact with you. He knows you're there and has not done anything. Uh, is there any, like, paper? Well, can I say that I have a notepad in my pocket? Yes. I want to write down, we should meet, and then hold it up to the painting. He doesn't respond to you. He's in the middle of a conversation with someone else. That would be rude. He's going to write, fine, and I guess we're going to leave. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going to take the painting with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's coming with. <laughs> Make me a... Okay, I'm unhanging a painting. Is it glued to the wall? It's magically bound to the wall. Is it? It is a portal. It has magic glue powers. It is a portal that is tied to a thing. Uh, okay. It's it's just, it's masquerading as a picture. It's really a portal. Right, he like has illusions over a portal is basically what it is. And you're trying to sever this, or take this portal with you. Yeah, I mean, that is what I'm trying to do. Uh, it does. Uh, it doesn't. Just ro- roll whatever tags you want. The moves don't really apply to this. Take the risk, I guess. I'm fine with that. Calm authority. <laughs> well, no, I, I don't think that makes any sense. Okay. Um, frick, I got nothing. I don't think. No, I, I would give you like brawl, like a Norse god, like that, like is indicative of strength. <laughs> All right, I will. I will punch the wall apart to get the painting off. <laughs> well, I think you're like r- trying to rip it off with strength. Is there any way that I could apply, like, two more tags to this, like, <laughs> marksman and call Because that is a four. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. As you grab this painting, you pull with all your slang and slip over and ram right into the desk, knocking it over, making quite a loud ruckus. And you hear from the hallway, what was that? Oh, boy. I think that's our cue to get out of here. Yeah, do we want to try to, like, talk our way out or just run away real fast? Which do you think would be more successful? I'm warm and cuddly. I don't think we're getting out of this without a fight. I I want to try to talk to them first, I think. Sure, I guess. We're cleaners, right? We're cleaners. I bumped into the desk. It was all a misunderstanding. We'll talk our way out of this. It's fine. You know, it's it's the weekend. It's an office space. They have to have cleaners. Has anyone, like, busted in yet? Friday. Friday. Oh. It's Friday. I lose track of days. Um, so, yeah, someone comes in, gun pointed at you. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'm sorry. I got turned around. We're the cleaners. We just, we got lost, and I ran into this desk, and I think this is a room I shouldn't be in. Can you just point me to the way out? We finished up what we need to do. Make me a convince roll, and you have a minus two going into this. Okay, so I'm going to use Fast Friends, Calm Authority, and Hypnotizing Eyes. Okay, so you'll have a plus one. That is an eight. <laughs> okay, uh, I gotta forget. Mixed successes are not always easy. Uh, I didn't think cleaners came in today, so if you'll just give me Usually your... Usually I- we don't. I'm so sorry. If you'll give me your IDs, I'll just make a note down for my boss, and then I'll let you on your way. Help you out of the building. I do not, uh, sure. You know what? Yeah, go for it. Nag yourself out, buddy. And I just hand him my driver's license. That's fine. Seamus, do you comply as well? Yeah, I suppose. So he writes down your names. Interesting first name you got there, Tanner. Let's see out of the building. <laughs> I know it's weird to have a name detective as your first name, but you know. <laughs> well, your parents were really hoping for something, I guess. Yeah, and you know. Didn't work out. Anyways, bye. Nice to meet you. All right. Faye. Yes. Is there anything you'd like to do at work specifically to help your case, your friends? Or are you just trying to plow through work? I think I'm just trying to plow through work. I don't have any contact with them. (laughs) I didn't know if you were, like, looking up anything or trying to, like... I I don't think I have enough to go on. Uh, Make me a, a roll for how fast you can get through your work. Okay. Are you using any tags? Mm, I don't... I mean, you have a tag called Driven and Intelligence, which I feel like would help Well, you get annoyed when I use those. (laughs) I'll say Driven and Good Team Player, because I'm at work. That's my brother. Yes. What'd you get? Uh, 10. So, after this horribly long couple of weeks, you finally are able to get your footing under you a little bit. You actually get a little bit ahead, and, like, by about 4 o'clock, you are all done with everything, instead of having a whole pile of stuff that you'd need to take care of this weekend. Well, I could be that productive in real life. (laughs) (laughs) But then you just have to find more work to do. When you are partnering in a law firm, you get to go home early. (laughs) So you get to leave early, and you can go try to meet up with your friends who are currently 
botching rolls left and right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess I'd go... Do I know where the warehouse is that Darling was going to? Well, I would have told you guys where I was going when we met at the Mystical Grove. Yes, okay. So I think I stroll by there and see if I see them. We'll say that Tanner and Seamus are still in the vicinity. Are they, like, leaving? Yeah, they're they're being... Okay. They're being not gently escorted off the premises. Okay. I wait for the guy escorting them to leave. Like he does. if they if he like drops them off and they walk across the street, I go across the street so I like run into them. Yeah, I mean like they're not like actively shooting you as you leave, like you can do that. No, I know. I just I just didn't want to make a big deal about like fancy lawyer lady knowing these guys who are pretending to be workmen. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, you're good. I just Cody and Vinny were quiet. You guys do that. You're all together. Okay. Speak. Role play. So, uh, everything go okay? Uh, no, not exactly. Where's Starling? N- not here. I am pretty sure she is on the boat that you can only reach by magical painting that only works for not us. Okay... I'm not totally certain. What I think we got to break onto the boat because Darling might need to be rescued, but not certain how to do that. We're pretty sure that Mr. Ortman saw us in that room through the painting. And therefore, Portal, is, whatever you call it. Yeah, and is probably therefore aware that Darling is not there for good reasons. You know what I mean? I think her cover's blown. Uh, got it. Okay, Zach, this is this is maybe crazy, and I don't know if we have enough, I sort of doubt we have enough time to do this. Do we kind of have an idea of where the boat is? I mean, it's on the river. Okay. You, you can see it circling the other boats, right? Or like, yeah. they're all, all like... all three boats stay pretty close together when they're out on the water. Right. Can I say that Ewan has a boat, or my family has a boat? Or we're going to steal a boat. <laughs> that we can take. Use your tag of rich? Um, yes. Which one Which one of those three options are you doing? Mm, I'll say my family has a boat. You don't want to bring you and more into this? <laughs> well, my cover story of why I use the boat would be that I wanted to surprise you and. All right. You have a boat easily enough. He's in my tag rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. This seems real sketch. The boat would not be on the river. It would be like in one of the harbors or like the like reservoirs. They connect. I mean, look, if you don't want us to have that boat, I am stealing a boat. You guys can have that boat. It's fine. Okay. It is a nice boat. You're going to get in trouble when it sinks. (laughs) Oh, no. Is there, I guess. it sink? Don't roll under sevens. <laughs> if you think that it would be in like a harbor, is there a way to get from there to where the riverboats are? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah. maybe you, it just takes it a little bit more time. But so you guys quickly hurry away to go get on Faye's family's boat. What's its na- What's its name? The Honor. <laughs> <laughs> the Night Owl. Which is which is fun, seeing as what we're doing with it is not particularly honorable. The Lady of the Lake. That's appropriate. Oh, it would be the Lady of the Lake, too, wouldn't it? <laughs> so here's the question. Is someone else operating the boat, or are we doing that? I think we are. <laughs> cool. Someone make me a drive check. Can I use my tag of having a car? I, I will allow it since we haven't had a car chase. Does anyone else have a better tags than has a car? No. No. Cool. <laughs> I'll give you half a tag for that, but I always round up, so you're good. Well, that was an 11. All right. Good job, Tanner. It's got a steering wheel. It's like a car. So We're as put- you guys... down the river. <laughs> Tanner, remember, nothing can happen to this boat. Look, I've been hot rotting my car for years. It is fine. You got nothing to worry about. You should bore this out, though. You get a little bit more oomph. Seamus comes from below deck. Why is there a sword down here? <laughs> no, that's extra weight. Throw it overboard. We don't need it. Get rid of it. That's the first step. We got to get rid of everything that's extra weight. Who needs brakes? <laughs> so as you speed down this river in record time, you quickly catch up to these river boats, which are very slow moving. And then you remember that there seems to be some rift magic on this, making it hard to pinpoint which boat is which. I was worried you were going to say that. Anyway, flipping back to Darling. So, Miss Lovell, 
why would a rift be presumably beguiling me to get onto my ship? Darling looks at him, very confused. I don't think I know what you're talking about, sir. Are you alright? You're not making a lot of sense. I am completely fine. I know that normal people cannot see through my paintings, and you seemed much more coherent and then pointed out my painting looking like a warehouse and not the clever illusion that I have on the wall. So, you can say I'm crazy, but we both know that you're lying, and it would save us both a lot of time for you to tell me what I want to know. Or we can do this the hard way. I swear, Mr. Ortman, I don't know what you're talking about. Make me a convince check. Yep. Hi, man. <laughs> I know we got we got two charmers going at it. Um, I'm gonna throw some negative tags on you as well, probably. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware. Um, I'm gonna go with close confidant, control the will of others, and I'm gonna try and use reflection again. Try to use his charm against him. Okay. What negatives are you throwing on me? You probably have a negative two from just like his presence and then probably another negative three since he knows you're lying. Another negative three or negative three total? Another negative three. Like you're, you're the equivalent of a kid with their hand in the cookie jar saying, I'm not trying to take a cookie. Okay. So negative two altogether. Yes. (laughs) Was it a 10? a four. Well, okay, not a ten. So that's a two. (laughs) Oh, well, that was pretty bad then. Well, so you want to do this the hard way then, Miss Lovell. That's fine with me. So, he grabs you by the wrist, drags you to another painting, and pushes you through. Oh no! (laughs) Okay, where am I? You are in a another nice looking room. Not nearly as nice as the room you were in before. There are multiple doors leading... There are about three doors leading out, and then a fourth door that looks to be bars. When you look through the bars, you see what looks to be the interior of a vault. (laughs) Yep, I was waiting for that. All right. And as you are looking through the bars, you hear a voice behind you. Well, who are you? Okay, I'm going to look back, but I want to check... Is, did I get the same, like, dizziness when that I did when I went through the first portal? No. Okay. So that was just a weird effect, the first one. The first portal, you you tried to, like, see what was happening, so he used extra magic to stop that. Gotcha. Okay. And this time he just didn't care. No. Okay. I turn around. Who do I see? You see a woman who looks slightly older, not terribly old, so probably actually around Darling's age. Um, But she looks more worn and weary than Darling ever does. Her clothes are a little bit more tattered and patched. They are not fancy by any stretch. Mostly, she just gives off the aura of being very weary. Okay. I suppose I am here, too. Did Mr. Ortman put you here? He did. Um, I'm assuming that you made a bad deal with him as well? No, no deals were made. I think I just got a little too close than I meant to initially. Oh, I'm sorry. I am being extremely rude. My name is Darling, and she puts her hand out. My name's Evangeline. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. So, did you make a bad deal with Mr. Ortman? Yes and no. It was more my husband made a bad deal with him. Gambling away almost everything we own in this casino. And I need to have a place to live. So I was forced to make bad choices when my husband met an untimely end. We can't tell if someone is a rift, correct? Only Vinny can. Give her a kiss. (laughs) (laughs) Find out what my new powers are. Darling's going to turn back to the bars and just kind of shake them a little bit like not like she's not really trying to get out but it's like testing them they are very solid more solid than you think would be possible on a ship okay i'm more waiting for her reaction to that okay uh i don't think you're going to be able to get out that way i have never seen that door open in the entire time i've been here 
Have you seen the vault door open? Now and again, but usually, usually I just stay in further back in whenever the vault's open. I don't care to see Felix's goons pulling more money out of the vault to lure more people into bad decisions. So they they can they can see us in here. There are people out there who can see us in here. I I think so. It doesn't seem like they care. They never respond to me or even take pay attention to me, so. Hmm. Well, he certainly has a, a very loyal staff. I think Darling's gonna turn back to her, and I think just gonna be blunt. Evangeline, have you seen anything weirdly, I don't know, almost supernatural go on here? You just fell out of a painting. Okay, so you did see that. I did, yes. It's kind of hard to miss. Would it be a correct assumption to assume that normal people would just kind of glaze over that? Yes. <laughs> okay. I assumed so, but... The mist magic stuff would hide tries that. to hide itself from normal people. I assumed it would, yeah. So if somebody is seeing something that is specifically weird, it is not... It would not be un- It would not be weird to assume that... Okay. Are you... Are you special in any kind of way? My mama always told me I was special. But I don't think you mean like that. No, you know, I was. It, there's, there's not a very uh, polite way to come out and ask if you have any weird powers. But uh, that was my attempt. Um. Well, I seem to be since being in here. I seem to pick up the ability to enchant items that have some magic in them. Enchant like how? It's. It's not something I've really thought about how it happens, but I am able to take items that have a little bit of magic resonance with them and spin them into something greater. Okay, do you have anything to do with these coins? These VIP coins that are coming out? Yes, lots. I make them from mild inconveniences to what they are. Okay, well, sounds like I've gotten the information that I came here to get, which uh, is a good thing. And then she turns back to the bars, but um, yeah, I'm we're gonna we're gonna have to not let you make those anymore because things are not going too well outside of this jail cell. Oh, spinning gold casino! I get it. I get it. I like it. <laughs> Sex face. <laughs> not even subtle <laughs> i know i just thought it was like a good like a cool fantasy casino name you know oh, it's almost like it's a fairy tale yeah well i'm getting that now that there is like an actual what's her name does she have a name in the story i don't think she does i don't remember i would love to stop making these coins but that is something you'll need to take up with mr ortman who's the one forcing me to make them because as much as I don't like helping him get richer and whatever else these coins are doing, I do like being alive. How is he making you... He's just threatening to kill you right now? Is that what I'm picking up on? Strike to poverty, throw in the poorhouse, put an arrested for, for defaulting on debts. At least with this jail sale, it's nice. I can't say the same thing about a mundane cop jail. Okay, that's fair. But... If I could help you not end up like that and not have that kind of backlash from Mr. Ortman, could I convince you to stop making those coins? Yes, but first, you'll need to get out of here, darling. Oh, I plan on it. Flipping back to the boat. One of you make an investi- Seamus or Faye, make an investigation check to figure out what boat you're trying to land on. Okay. Are you doing it? Well, do you have better investigation tags than me? I mean, I could potentially use See the Unseen and Knowledge of the Past to figure out how the boats got to where they are and figure out which one's which. Yeah, you do that. What about what about Calm Authority? <laughs> <laughs> Can I use could Get Anywhere? No, that's not what you're doing. But we're trying to get anywhere. You're not trying to, like, get onto it yet. You're trying to figure out where to go. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a six. Oh, gosh! <laughs> yeah, that's why I was trying to get one more tag out of it. Oh, man, you guys are rolling terribly. It's great. You try to permeate where the boats are, and this is a very strong 
magical aura that you have not dealt with before um in a way that there is a backlash from this energy that like kind of like throws you backwards in the way that all psychic things do when you try to mess with them <laughs> Seamus you're gonna get a I think it's emotional is what I want mental let me yeah or I'm gonna say a magical hindrance of Daggies, which will be a, a tier one tag for you Seamus okay um as you are unable to even kind of figure out what ship it is it is all of them just are a blur and it's just like that you know the card trick like follow the card except like just on steroids and like even with your magic you're not really even able to follow it well the magic on these boats is really preventing my ability to to see which one's which do none of them look familiar they all look identical i guess we pick a boat and then yeah if that boat isn't right we like leave some kind of mark on it like a chalk mark and go on to the next boat sounds good should we roll a d6? Roll a d6. Fay will. Five. All right. You pick a random boat. Yep. How are you doing this? I imagine we'd pull up beside it and then, like, throw a rope onto it and climb or up. Fay can, or Faye can shapeshift over to oh, it. Oh, yeah. You could turn into, like, a bird. That's true. Yeah. I don't know if you were all trying to go at once or whatever. Oh, yeah. Frick, why don't you just turn into a bird and check every boat? I, I, I can do that. Fee, why don't you turn into a bird and just check every boat and then just circle the right one, you know? As a note, before you do that, like, as a human, you have a hard time keeping track of which boat's which. I thought you said they were slow moving, so, like, once we're here... They're also magically enhanced. Okay. So I guess I'll shapeshift into a bird and just kind of poke around with the boat that we're next to. See what I can see. All right, make me a sneak around check. Shapeshifting raven shape? Yep. Two. Okay. Make others focus on each other, not me. You don't see anyone right now, so... Okay. That is a nine. So you hop up onto this boat, and you are able to see that it is the third boat, the one that you guys have not been on. Hey! Lucky us! W- w- which is great for what we're trying to do, but not great for where we actually need to be. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Dang it. But, I mean, obviously, we don't know that. Do I... Do I see, like, Felix Ortman through a window? Is that how I know? Or I uh, just it looks see different. It? You've been on the other two boats, and oh, okay. it does not look like them. Okay. Like, from the exterior, it does, but you, like, look in, and it looks very different on the inside. Okay. I was just wondering if I saw the space where, like, Darling would presumably be because I see Felix and not her. No, you do not, okay. unless you want to dive deeper in. Um, I don't think she would. Okay. So I fly back, and I guess shapeshift back into Faye. <laughs> All right. And say that, well, this this is the one. This is the VIP boat. Or not the VIP boat. The Felix Ortman's private boat. Uh, well, all right. Good news. Let's uh, climb up there. Should someone stay with our boat? Probably it's not good if it just drifts in the river. Uh, well, we'll just tie it off, you know. As, as long as nothing happens to it. I mean... F- Faye, I don't want to be callous here, but Darling's in danger and you're complaining about a boat. Buy another boat! Let's go! Uh, You don't have to deal with my parents, Tanner. uh, Darling might die! It's a boat! I, I, she says this, like, as she's helping you, like, do this. It's not, like, a refusing to do it. It's just, like, grumbling about it. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, I get it. Okay. Tanner, like... I don't know, whatever, throws a rope up onto the boat and I guess tries to repel one-handed. Yeah, this is going to be super hard for Tanner. As you guys make your way onto the boat, the familiar aura of magic settles on you guys once again. What does this feel like? It's the magic you fell in the other two casinos. Which was? Uh, Like, if you roll double sixes and stuff like the double ones. Oh, okay, okay. Do we know what the special thing on this boat is? Yes, the special thing on this boat, in addition to the other two, is... Um, after you calculate your power, but before you roll, you may remove one point of your power. Uh, this is your wager. If your final result is a 10 plus, your wager is doubled. Use your original power and increase it by one. Is that the same one from the VIP boat? Oh, no, we've already... No, we've had those, sorry. The new one is up the stakes. Sevens, sevens count as misses, and nines count as hits, and eights only count as the weak hit. Oh, all right. Okay. So everything is upped on this boat. Gotcha. Well, but nines are better, though. Right, yeah. I meant as in, like, the stakes are upped, where, you know, there's a little less chance for mixed results, but more chance for failure and success. Gotcha. 
So as this magic settles on you guys again, you guys look around, hoping to find Darling quickly, and we will end here. Hey Wanderers, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Naptown Chronicles. If you want to hear more content from the Wandering Gamer Network, you can check out the Wandering Gamer Network website. We also post Let's Plays that we do on YouTube under the channel Wandering Gamer Network. On Twitch, we can be found at wandering underscore gamer underscore network, and you can follow us on Twitter at the WGN Podcast. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. The intro and outro music was composed by Caitlin Balgaman, who voices Faye in this podcast. All other music is openly licensed or in the public domain. Now, sleeper, it is time to rest. And remember, it is the gods who envy us.